सो हाई डियर सेजिटेरियस अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टेरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द सैजी सन मून मीनस राइजिंग Keep in mind, this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed. Also, third thing, this is a reading from 17 till the 23rd of June, and it's valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with, along with your own sign. If it is not resonating, it's not your story. You can just skip the video. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self healing journey with hope or no hope, no, but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my master class. Again, the link is in the description box for the for the same, and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very very long time now. And if you want one on one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Start. Let's see, honey. Sag is your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment are uh, let's see we have the three of cups so sag is someone is in their feelings about the situation they feel like coming together or coming back together or have some kind of connection with you for some of you it could be a reconciliation kind of a deal let me clarify the three of cups here they feel like looking forward to have some kind of coming together coming back together kind of a deal let's see we have the ace of pentacles the nine of pentacles the five of pentacles okay so this person is feeling like it's very difficult for them to remain single it's very very difficult for them to remain single from this situation i must say and they feel like coming forward towards you with some kind of solid offer they feel like it now when they're single and when they are seeing you single they are like quite worried that you are having somebody else by your side or you are enjoying your life and you are not giving a shit to them and that is why this person is feeling left out in the cold even if they are the one who initiated this uh, conflict between you and them now this person is feeling left out in the cold and now they feel like coming towards you and uh, offering you something stable kind of a deal they feel like this okay these are feelings and on the surface they are like i don't care about sagis and from inside they are like i feel like i should have I had a shot with Sagittarius. Hmm. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side, honey? Sagis. Star card. So from your side you feel like remaining positive and optimistic in a particular direction and you feel like this is a connection that's important to you but at the same time you feel like you just should heal yourself. You should you should just take care of yourself. even if you are connected to this person i think physically you are uh, not that much connected to them i don't know what is happening but energetically you still feel uh, pull towards them but at the same time you feel like uh, staying away for some reason i don't know what is happening let's clarify the star yeah you are so hurt you are so deeply hurt you are so deeply wounded because of whatever happened between you guys you are quite upset you are hurt you are upset and you are feeling like just wait and watch from a distance everything is going to be fine with time so you are feeling like uh, putting this situation uh in this energy of uh, time is going to heal everything time is going to heal me as well and this connection as well let's uh, just wait and watch okay so because of this situation you are for some of you your spiritual awakening got triggered or your spiritual uh energies got triggered and now you are kind of working on th those energies working on your spiritual growth and spiritual awakening as much as you can for some of you consciously for some of you unconsciously but it's leading to some kind of spiritual growth in your life let's see what this person wants from you sagis what are their intentions for the situation between you and them 10 of swords their intention is to just see the light at the end of the tunnel even if it is done even if it is this person is feeling defeated in some way shape or form in the situation and I think this person wants to accept the defeat and start seeing things from a different from a positive perspective I think. Let's clarify the 10 of swords here. Okay. They know they messed up. They know they messed up. Wow. This person to come forward towards you. And I think this person wants to present you two options to choose from like a uh, maybe uh, one option is to be friends one option is to like uh, maybe uh, like uh, meet in the future kind of a deal i don't know but this person wants to come towards you with two options so after this uh, you know accepting the truth accepting the defeat now this person wants to come towards you 
and offer you two options to choose from like this is the deal and this is the deal you choose i don't know what this is but this is what they want but this person wants to make this connection go forward in some way shape or form wow it's a very complicated reading today honey let's see what do we want from this particular person or situation from your side sajis Page of Pentacles. You want to uh, like uh, you want uh, this person around you, but you want to keep them as a friend only, or you want to create a like a strong boundary when it comes to this connection. Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles, but because according to the energies, you are very hurt, you are very wounded because of this situation, and you don't want to go back to the same kind of pain uh, again. So you are like, okay, let me just keep it at a distance. Let me clarify the page of pentacles here. We have the six of cups, the six of swords and the hanged man. Yeah, this is a soul connection. This is an important connection to you. But you want to move on from the situation. At the same time, you don't want to move on completely from the situation. It's like you want to keep, these, uh, keep this connection, keep this situation around you. But not uh, in a relationship kind of a deal, not, not in a commitment kind of a deal. You just want to keep this connection casual, keep this situation casual. Yeah. See, you want this person in your life, right? It's not like you just want to cut their ass out of your life and never look back. But you don't want a relationship kind of a deal with them. At least not the time be for the not for the time being. At least for the time being, you just want to keep this person's energy around you, but with a lot of boundary boundaries. You're still attached to them. There's love here still attached to them but for some reason you're like keeping it at a, keep it keeping it at a distance let's see what's coming towards it till the 23rd of june fool card i do see you breaking free from the situation and jumping into some kind of risk here in some way shape or form I don't know what that risk is let's clarify the fool we have the devil the lovers and the eight of war eight of cups it's so unhealthy to be in this situation it's so toxic to be in this situation there is something that's very unhealthy and very toxic in the situation and that is why you're leaving the situation for good this time i think both of you are parting ways this time with this energy and with this understanding that even if you guys are going to try your best in the situation it's not going to work out so breaking free from the situation and walking away from the situation both of you individually in your individual individually in the separate directions because both of you are going to realize at least for the time being it's not going to work out we guys need to go on our separate ways on our separate journeys and when it is meant to be it will come back together if not this is a goodbye i'm sorry to say sajis but this is what i have for you this is the truth here i can't lie to you to make you guys happy this is what it is you know you guys know me right let's see the guidance for you guys in the situation sajis let's see what's happening like what is the what the universe have for you We have the seven of swords, the four of pentacles and the ten of wands. Don't uh, fool yourself by continuously lying to yourself that you're over this situation. You don't want it. You don't want this connection back in your life. Don't just be, just, just don't lie to yourself, Sagittarius, okay? I know this situation is very, very stressful, very, very complicated. I know uh, right now the situation is not making sense to you at all. Might be not in the future also. In the future also, you are going to be like, nope. I understand on a human level might be this situation this connection is gone might be long gone before you guys were even able to understand it on a physical level but don't lie to yourself that this that you don't care about this person it's, it doesn't hurt you it doesn't bother you be honest with yourself that yes this is this energy still matters to you whatever your truth is whatever your honesty is I don't know for some reason I'm getting a similar kind of guidance for most of the signs these days that you guys are lying to yourself. You guys are cheating on yourself by continuously saying things that are not true. And who are like a who you, whom you are making fool out of this? You yourself. You are you are, you are hurting yourself. It's I have seen people being in love for like for years with the same person, but but not accepting it. 
and the more they are denying it the more they are hurting themselves and the more they are hurting themselves the more they are blaming the other energy it's not their fault it's your fault that you are not accepting your own truth there's nothing wrong in accepting that this still hurts this this still bothers you still care it's completely fine you don't have to go back to the same person you don't have to be crazy you don't have to chase them and you don't have to beg them no all you have to do is to accept the truth for what it is and heal yourself properly and release the situation slowly but surely it's like a wound it's going to hurt it's going to take time to heal it's not going to be like one day process but one day you will definitely be able to come out of that with a lot of love and forgiveness and gratitude this is the way you heal okay honey so yeah thank you so much for tuning in uh, sajis i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste